Do you use spreadsheets as a part of your workday? Do you wish that you could share or connect multiple spreadsheets together with just a few clicks? Well, in today's video, we are taking a look at SheetGo, a web platform which makes it so much easier for you to connect multiple spreadsheets and also share that data with other spreadsheet users. Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity, and today we are taking a deeper look at SheetGo, and I'm gonna share with you three different ways on how you can use the SheetGo service. I wanna show you how you can share data from one or more worksheets and bring it into one worksheet. I wanna show you how you can use Microsoft Excel data and share that with a Google Sheets user because sometimes we have our own personal preferences, right? As to which type of tool we like to use and the tools that others are using as well. And lastly, I wanna show you how to merge data from multiple workbooks and bring them into a single workbook, consolidate all of that data. So let's take a closer look at SheetGo. So let's start out by taking a look at a simple example. Here I have a sample spreadsheet where I have some basic product information, things like inventory, maybe quantity, the price of each of these products. However, on a separate, a distinct spreadsheet, I have my sales data, and perhaps either I manage this spreadsheet or it could be another member of my team. Now, I would love to have this information on this spreadsheet visible somewhere within this spreadsheet. Maybe have it appear as a separate tab. Well, with SheetGo, we can do exactly that. Let's go over to the SheetGo web platform. And here you can see I have not yet made a connection. So to get started, all we need to do is hit the plus button here in the bottom right-hand corner. Now, in order to use SheetGo, all of your spreadsheets that you want to connect or consolidate or merge must be stored on Google Drive, but that does not necessarily mean that it has to be a Google Sheet. As I'm gonna show you in today's second example, you can use Microsoft Excel or any other type of spreadsheet as long as it is stored within Google Drive. So in this case, we need to get started by selecting a data source. So I'm gonna select Add Source, and it's gonna show me all of the sheets that I have connected, or all of the sheets that I have available to me within my Google Drive account. And in this case, I want to use the sample data as the data source. So I'm gonna select that. My second choice here is the data destination. So I'm gonna select this option. Now you can start a brand new spreadsheet if you want. That's a default option here within SheetGo, but I already have a spreadsheet where I want this information to go. So I'm gonna say change destination, and I'm gonna select the SheetGo destination. Yes, I've made a very easy label, so I remember where I want it to go. So I've got my data source, I've got my data destination. The last option here are settings, and there's a lot of settings you can alter or change in here. You can change the connection name, for example. You can also change if you want automatic updates or not. I'm gonna leave that disabled just for now so I can show you how things work. But now that I've made these three choices, I can select the check mark here to save that connection, and now I have made my very first connection. So here you see the name of it, here is the spreadsheet, uh, connecting and uh, scheduling is disabled, and the last update was just now. So if I go back to this spreadsheet, you will notice I have a brand new tab at the bottom of my sheet, and look at this. It is the name of the connection that I just made. If I click on it, here I have all of the exact same information as this other spreadsheet that I referred to earlier. Now I can always have the latest or most current information here within this original spreadsheet. So maybe I'm in charge of this tab and this is all of the things that I need to work with. This is all the things that I need to change or update. But whenever I want to look at our sales data, I can simply click on this tab below and I may not even be the owner of this information. Someone else may be dealing with this information and updating this information, but now I have access to it here. 
In our next example, let's see how we can share information from a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet or perhaps a CSV file into other Google Sheets. Now, if you're not familiar with the Google Drive plugin for Microsoft Office, I'll be sure to leave a link to this add-on in the description below. This allows you to save any Microsoft Office file directly to your Google Drive account. And that's what we're going to be doing here. So, when you have the plugin installed, all you need to do is select Save As, and you can save directly to Google Drive. But of course, you can continue to edit and manage your information here within perhaps your preferred uh, tool or your preferred application. We can continue to edit here within Microsoft Excel. So to make the connection, let's go back to our SheetGo web platform here and we are going to hit the plus button and we need to add our source because we've been using the plugin that Microsoft Excel CSV file is now saved within Google Drive so that is the data source as for a data destination let's use the same destination we used last time the sheet go destination and lastly under settings we can of course give it a different name I'm going to call this one uh, customer uh, data so we can see the difference here and I'm going to select the check mark. Now of course this may take a few seconds to make the initial connection. Here you see the name again of this particular connection, where it is going, and the connection has just been made. So let's go back to that original spreadsheet and here you see again at the bottom we now have a new tab. We have a customer data tab. And now we have all the exact same information that we have in our original Excel file. So I can continue to edit that information within my original Microsoft Excel file and every time I save it, it will be updated here within this particular Google Sheet, all by using the SheetGo connection platform. Now our third SheetGo example may just be my favorite and most valuable to you. In this case, we are going to be merging three separate spreadsheets into one. Often you may be dealing with information in multiple spreadsheets, different pieces of information, but you would like to see all of that information in one. Maybe it makes sense to have separate spreadsheets for different sales representatives or for different projects that you are working on, but you'd like to see everything in one single spreadsheet. So here I have inventory A, B, and C, all with different information, but I'd like to see them all in this spreadsheet, inventory all sites. So let's see how we can set things up. Let's go back to the SheetGo web platform and we are going to select the plus button. Now again we're going to add a source, but this time we are going to be adding three sources, inventory A, inventory B, and inventory C because we want to merge these three spreadsheets into one. Now the data destination, we could create a brand new spreadsheet, but I've actually selected one already. I've created this inventory all sites spreadsheet. So that's where I want the information to go. And under settings, I can always give a connection name. In this case, I'm going to say inventory merge just so I can see it later. I select the checkbox, which is saving the connection, and it may take a few seconds for the merge to take place, for the connection across those three spreadsheets to take place, but I should see a notification. There we go. The connection inventory merge was updated. So if I go to my inventory all sites, here you can see I have a brand new tab called inventory merge. Remember what I named it, and now all of my data is merged together. I have all of the information from all three of my spreadsheets in a single view. Now remember, I can set up automatic updates. I could set up manual updates so my other team members can continue to work in their individual spreadsheets or maybe I'm working with these individual spreadsheets, but I can always come back and see that merge data here. So if you would like to try out SheetGo, be sure to click the link in the description below. You can try SheetGo for free and tell me how you enjoy connecting and sharing your information amongst multiple spreadsheets. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to watch even more Simpletivity, you can click on another video right here. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.